welcome 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 to my channel today another day another interesting topic we are going to discuss about what are the symptoms of bad energy mount that is what we are going to discuss in this very video it's really going to be interesting you're going to see how can you know if your energy mount is bad i'm going to do very little introduction or define mount a bit before that I encourage you to please go to subscribe subscription button and subscribe to the channel so that you will get an updating like this and go to the thumbs up button go and give me thumbs up as you are going to enjoy this video so that the algorithm can really push me thank you very much as you are doing that hope you have done that now let's go what is engine mount it is a part that holds the engine in the equipment that's the engine mount for you. It is the engine mount prevent iron to iron contact between the the engine and the equipment. The equipment can be anything. It can be crane. It can be forklift. It can be inside. Um, can be motor body. It can be anything. But to prevent iron to iron, that is the work of engine mount. There are different types of engine mount that we have. We have hydraulic engine mount, we have um, solid rubber engine mount, and we have metal engine mount. These are the three types of engine mount. Hydraulic mount, solid rubber mount, and metal mount. These are the solid three types of engine mount that we have. Now let's go to the main function of engine mount. The engine mount secure engine into machinery, into the equipment. It is the function of it to make sure that the, the engine is secured into the machinery. This is an example of engine mount. You can see this is solid rubber engine mount. This is hydraulic engine mount and this is also metal engine mount. What is their function? Is to make sure that the engine is secure in the machinery. And it also absorb shock and vibration when the machinery is operating. But this one, it is only where it is applicable. You know, there are some equipment that uh, the operator is not need to be there. It gives the a kind of operator a kind of comfort. Like in forklift, you will need an operator to operate it. The 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 engine will not the the equipment will not be vibrating. But if the engine mount, uh, we are going to come into that. And so it, it provides that comfort. But like for example, in in a generator, the the operator is not there. It's outside the equipment. So this one is not applicable yet. But it, it gives the operator a, a kind of comfort when you have sound engine mount because it will take away shock and vibration. Now, let us now go. How can you actually know when your engine mount is are bad? How can you know when they are bad? I'm going to mention four things that can help you to know when your engine mount are bad. The first one is increased vibration. The vibration of the equipment or the vehicle will be much. You will see vibration. Because it is the duty of the engine mount to absorb the vibration. But when the, vib when the engine mount is damaged, you will experience more vibration. You will experience that um, if it is um, inside the um, forklift or other equipment, you see it will look as if the operator is shaking like this. That is the duty of the engine mount. It, the engine mount is supposed to absorb the vibration, but since the engine mount is bad, the vibration will be there. So, one thing, one of the symptoms of engine mount is vibration. The vibration will be getting, and each day it will be getting worse and worse. What is the second thing? Second symptom. The second symptom is noise. We call it impact noise. Impact noise. Remember when we define vibration when we define mountain rubber mountain rubber prevent ion to ion contact ion to ion contact 
Then, if it's with hand to hand contact, when it is bad, you notice that this hand to hand contact is there. And because there is a gap between the engine mount, no matter how bad it is, it will still create a gap. Remember, between the engine and the equipment. If this is the engine, this is the equipment, there's a little gap there. So because of this, you'll be hearing a kind of impact noise there. Coming up because of the, due to the vibration, the noise will be there. So when you are hearing that kind of impact noise, it shows that it's telling you that the engine mount is bad and it must be replaced. So impact noise is another thing that can make that, that is another symptom that you can see for you to know that truly your engine mount are bad. We are talking about vibration, we are talking about noise. Let's go to engine movement. Remember, when we talk about the function of engine mount, engine mount is the part that holds the engine. When the engine mount is bad, the engine will be moving to and fro and to some side to side. You get it? Like this, like this, even sometimes like this. So that is why your engine mount must be sound. When you notice that your engine, you see, there's a kind of movement. Let me say it's more, um, it's a vehicle, a car, when you park it, look as if something push you, as if you, you go front a bit. That's a sign of your engine mount is bad. So, where your engine mount are bad, it can cause a kind of movement in your engine. That's the third one. Let's go to the fourth one. What is the fourth one? Which is visual wear. Uh, we are talking about symptoms. How can you know that your engine mount are bad? Visual wear. Your engine mount is, in most cases, if it is rubber own, when the mount are, is bad, you will know how. You see a kind of crack on his body. There will be crack on his body, all over his body. When you see that crack, you can see it on the screen. You can see this crack. That's the bad engine mount. So if you have this kind of engine mount, it must be replaced. You can see crack all over his body. That is the that is telling you that the engine mount is damaged and you need to replace it. So we have talked about four symptoms that can really help you to identify when your engine mount are bad. The first one is Increment in noise. Increment in noise. The second one is impact noise. No, sorry, the first one is vibration. Sorry. Increment in vibration. The vibrating, it will be the the engine will be vibrating, and that also makes the equipment to, to vibrate or the machinery to vibrate. Then we have impact noise. You will be hearing a kind of impact noise. Not engine sound, uh, engine knocking sound, or kind of impact noise. Then we have engine movement to and fro, or sometimes to sideways. You see movement of the engine. It's another sign or another symptoms that the engine, that the your engine block, your engine mount is bad. And we also have visual wear. You notice a crack on here. To me, I usually refer engine mount as anti-vibration. That's what I personally like to call it, anti-vibration, because it helps you to eradicate that vibration in um, in engine. You don't see vibration there. So this is where we are going to stop in our class today. Hope you enjoyed the class. We talk about how can you know when your engine mount is bad. This video has given us glimpses. We have got four tips that will help you to know that your engine mounts are bad. See you in my next class. Before then, don't forget, if you have not subscribed to my channel, do it to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, too, to give me thumbs up for job well done. See you in my next video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.